In this tutorial, I will explain how the Radar Opus Content Updater works. So depending on your setting, automatically, once a day, once a week or once a month, uh, Radar Opus automatically will show you if there is new content available. So new documents or new repertory editions. To start this manually, you can go to the menu bar here, Help, and check for content. Check for new content. And content means documents or repertories or uh, reference documents, free notes, or repertory editions. So I click on it, and the Radar Opus Content Updater opens. Now below here is a setting where you can select if you want to see this once a day, once a week, or once a month. Then uh, what to be shown. You can show all documents or all the documents which only have been released recently, the ones which you can still install and the ones which you have installed already. So these uh, are all the documents which are available. And there are payable documents or free documents which you can see here by the word purchase or free. Let me try to expand this window a little so you can see the title. So here, for example, uh, is a book, a reference document, and you can see the language. Here is uh, Vermeule, Frans Vermeule, and you can see here the language German. Now, if you want to see only items from a certain language here in the right lower, lower corner you can select here for example German and you will only see the German books. Now repertory editions, so this here is the Free Bruges Congress uh, repertory editions, these will be for all languages. So I select here for example all languages and let me give of each type of document an example. So here is uh, a free note, and this is a Dutch one. I select here download, and you see that the document is downloaded, and there is a message. To view them, you can use the menu bar file, open free notes. Let me show you. So here, from the menu bar file, and then open free notes, and there you can access all the downloaded free notes. Let's continue with the next example. So here is a purchasable document, or let me do this one. Let me open this a little bit more. So this is from uh, Bhavisha and Sashindra Yoshi, Nozodes and Imponderable Come Alive. So I can click on it to select it. I say download with a single click and the document is being downloaded. Now, this is a purchasable document, so if you like to access it, you should contact your local Radar Opus representative. And if you are not sure who it is, you can click here on this link to have an overview of all the dealers with their contact details. So it has been downloaded, and uh, you need to restart your Radar Opus and then it will be visible in the table of content. Let me quickly restart Radar Opus. Do you want to make a backup? I say no. So I've restarted the software again, and via the button References, I type here Yoshi, and you see here the document uh, Yoshi, Nozodes, and Ponderable come alive. With a single click on it, it opens. And in the left upper corner, you can browse through the document. OK. So let's do the last one. Uh, I select here again, check for new contact. And let me select here the repertory editions. So let me first also show you this option. I can select here all documents you have already installed. So these were the two I have already installed. And these are only the documents you still can install. So the documents you can still install. So 
uh, I select here the repertory editions and I select download. Now the repertory editions, uh, any file with additions to the repertory works a little different. It needs two steps. First you need to download the file, then it needs to be imported into Synthesis. So after you have downloaded such a file, the import window opens and automatically the correct file has been selected and I click here on start to import the additions into Synthesis. Then it gives you a warning that it might take some time, so I say yes, I want to do it now. And the process starts. So you can see all the remedy additions into which rubrics the additions are being placed. So I will fast forward this process and come back to you at the end. So I click here OK and let's select an example. So for example here, uh, face, coldness, cheeks, let's remember that. So I click here on close and you need to restart your Radio Opus program again. I say here OK. I close this window and to be sure I restart my Radio Opus program again. So let's go to that rubric. So on the keyboard I start to type face, F-A, enter, and then coldness, enter, and then it was cheeks if I remember correctly. And here it is, if I press one time on the space bar on the keyboard, I can see the authors. So you see here the little star indicates that it is an addition and the, this is the author reference and when it's underlined it means that there is a link to a reference document maybe a Materia Medica document I double click on it and here you see the link if I click on this button I can go to the original document so here is the document it is the dictionary of Materia Medica of Clark and this is the original text the original symptom and it has been added to the synthesis to that rubric. So to summarize, the content updater will automatically open once in a while, depending on what you have set, or you can go manually to help and then check for new content, so documents, free notes, or, or repertory editions. Now there are so-called free notes, which you can find back via the menu bar File, Open Free Notes. Or there are documents, and these can be repertories or reference documents, and you can find these back via the table of contents of repertory or references. But some of them are free, and some of them you need to purchase. Now, if you download a purchasable document, you can contact your local representative to get an access key. And uh, lastly, there are repertory editions. So it disappeared now from the list. So let me select here all released documents, or I can say all documents you have already installed. So you see here, this is the Bruges uh, Congress uh, repertory uh, editions log file. And this is already installed. But normally, when you want to download and install that, it consists of two steps. First, you download it. Secondly, there is a process to insert it into the synthesis. If you have interesting homeopathic content which you would like to share, so if you also have uh, free notes, for example, PDF files or uh, PowerPoint documents from which you are the, the copyright owner, so you have created this, or you and you like to share this with other uh, Rada Opus users, then please contact us. So click here on this link and you will find the correct email address. And here is mentioned the email address which you can uh, send your information to. Okay, thank you.